Hi guys, this is Shah Nawaz Kareem and today I am at uh, Lutian's Motor Art which is uh, BMW Motor Art uh, Delhi's dealership. So what I thought was that I will come to the showroom and show you what are the features which BMW Motor Art has put in, into the new 1250 GS. Let me take you there. So that's the new 1250 GS Adventure. This is the top spec model of uh, the GS Adventure. It comes with uh, some of the great features like the tele lever suspension. So if you see at the suspension, it has the front damp. Uh, the front dampening and the uh, uh, coil over there which has the telelever system it's a ZF uh, system then the second thing which is the paralever suspension over here this is the BMW patented design and the third thing which you will love is the big boxer engine So guys, let me show you the full detailed overview of the BMW R1250GS. I hope you will like it. So here's the motorcycle. The standard version comes with split seat and has a grab rail and a rear pack over here where you can install uh, the mount for the tail section. Uh, there is a auxiliary vario case uh, system over here and moving over here this comes with a keyless system so as soon as you hop on the motorcycle just keep it in your pocket and move ahead i will paste it right now over here this is the uh, ex uh this is the accessory mount for uh the nav 6 and uh, this is the tft display you can adjust the height of the windshield from this knob if you look closely uh, it has been devised very strategically over here. It is on an angle on the left hand side. So when you are riding a motorcycle, you don't need to move your hand from the handlebar. Just remove your hand from the left hand side, which is the clutch uh, system and adjust it. Okay. Apart from this, you will see this master cylinder for the front brake, the master cylinder for the clutch. The beauty of the 1250GS is that it comes with uh, the uh, part integral braking system which means when you apply the front brake it en engages the front as well as the rear brake. However, if you apply the rear brake only, if you apply the rear brake only, it will only engage the rear brake irrespective of the ABS setting. Okay, this comes with uh, a cruise control system. Let me show you the left hand side switch gear system. So mm -hmm. over here, here are these uh, six function uh, seven functionalities over here going from bottoms up. The first one is the horn uh, and above that is uh, the left and right indicator system. Just above that is uh, is the uh, suspension uh, adjustment uh, for preload and damping. Uh, above that is uh, the uh, traction control system. So you can turn off traction control or you can turn it on. The previous generation model used to come with uh, ABS turning off and on system. Uh, in the BS6 model or Euro 5 model, it doesn't come that way. Uh, when you press this menu button, when you press this menu button, what it does, it changes the TFT system over there, which I will show you later. Okay, and you go up, you come back to the main screen. Then there is this uh, additional uh, auxiliary light system. This is uh, daytime running light additional. Uh, then this is the hazard lights. So all the hazard light uh, would get on. And then comes the um, 
cruise control. So you set it on by riding in road mode. Uh, apart from enduro mode, any other mode, you just press it forward. Cruise control is on and you can set it on the speed above 40 km per hour from the uh, reserve and set. You press it back, it goes slower. You press it forward, it goes faster. So the clutch lever also has, sorry, one more thing which I've missed is uh, the passing. So if you are riding, you want to give pass, you press this back and passing system would get engaged. If you want to put it on high beam, you just press it forward. So it engages on high beam constant. Let me show you the clutch action. Okay, so coming from here to the right hand side, right hand side has three system uh, switches. One is uh, the will go bottoms up, so you can switch on the motorcycle from this lever. So you press it and it turns on. You press it back, it is off. Then you, this is the mode selection. So the modes which you press from here, as soon as you select the modes from here, it will get engaged and it will show over here. And above that is the system for uh, heated grips. So it has uh, two system heated grips, switch it on. This is level two and then level one, and then it goes off. So you get some creature comforts over here. All of the levers, which is the brake lever, as well as the clutch lever are adjustable up to four system settings, one, two, three, four. That's how uh, the system works. The beauty of this is if your motorcycle is off and you want to top off the uh, motorcycle with fuel, just press this forward and it will come out. Okay. Uh, so you have to press the motorcycle off and now you can fill the tank. And then to put it back, just press it back. Okay. And it will not open till the time the motorcycle is off from here, main section. Okay. Some uh, more uh, advantages. So this model comes with uh, enduro foot pegs and uh, uh, this cover as standard. It doesn't come with the engine uh, co uh, cover. It has an engine uh, basic cover, but it doesn't come with a crash protection cover. Usually a lot of people uh, install that. So the, sh the chassis has been divided into three parts. The engine as one part, the, the mid frame as a second part and the sub frame as the third part. So this is how the structure is. If you come forward, you will see that the radiator is split into two parts between the, uh, the front telelever suspension over here. It comes standard in India with uh, the uh, tubeless uh, spoke rims and uh, at front at the bottom, uh, the back. At the back, you will also notice that it is a single sided swing arm and which means that the uh, installation of the tire uh, after uh, you know changing is super super easy uh, the previous generation models of the gs had the um, the exhaust on the other side and uh, from 2004 onwards when they moved to the 1200 uh, cc segment then they changed the whole engine system and the shaft system which is when the exhaust came on the right hand side okay so uh, one more thing, which is uh, the, the 1250 GS comes with a regular brake lever, which also has enduro system. However, the 1250 GS A comes with a very different braking system, which I will show you later. So here is the 1250 GS A. Uh, as I mentioned, this is uh, the braking uh, system on the 1250 GS A. It comes with two adjustment options. You can use the regular system as well as you can pull it back and bring it down so it becomes a two system so when you are riding while sitting you can use this rear brake when you are standing you can come over here and if you look over here from the parallel system this is almost flat this is almost flat so guys hope uh, you you liked this uh, this video and uh, the objective was to you know give you guys as much information as possible about the new 1250 gs and the gs adventure over there uh, these two motorcycles are one of the 
um, you know, like the spearhead motorcycles which brought adventure motorcycling in the world into the forefront. And this makes them really important because uh, uh, it's uh, Paris Dakar winners, various rally winners, uh, you know, chosen motorcycle for various globetrotters and which makes uh, its name by its name itself, which is GS, which stands for Gilande Sport. And uh, the motorcycle can cover miles and miles without giving uh, any sweat to you. And uh, that's why we want to make life a ride. See you guys.